Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to root the Samsung AT&T Infuse. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to set the phone on debugging mode. So click on applications. Let me do it again one more time. Click on applications right here. Go to settings and go to applications. Applications. And then go to development and then go to USB debugging mode and make sure it's on so the green button is on and press OK okay now the phone is set up for the root alright just wait for the next step alright guys after setting up your phone on debugging mode uh, you will need to download the zip file it's called super one click I will have in the description for you so just go to the description and uh, download it so after you downloaded it, uh, launch the zip file, which is called Super One Click 1.6.5 Short Fuse Zip. And uh, what I want you to do, I want you to plug your phone into the computer. So let me just do that right now. All right. Okay, USB. And make sure the phone is set on USB debugging mode and all the drivers are installed on the computer if your phone does not install it to the computer uh, go online and search for the drivers for your phone the Samsung Infuse so after doing that I want you to launch super one click exe that's the file called okay yes uh, alright you're gonna have it's gonna say root shell root, unroot, allow market apps, non-market apps, and donate. So what I want you to do for the for the phone is once you plug it in I want you to click on root obviously. Just wait for the software to do its thing and you'll be good to go. Waiting for device. All right. okay perfect root file has been installed would you like to run a test yes that's fine just press ok and your device has been rooted would you like to donate I'm gonna press no for now alright so your phone has been rooted right now but before you do anything else I want you to click allow non-market apps so you can get applications that are not on the market okay press ok alright now you're good to go what I want you to do right now is unplug your phone and then I want you to turn off your phone and turn it back on and oh yeah one more thing if you ever have a problem with your phone and say you wanna return it back to Samsung or AT&T or whoever got your warranty make sure your phone is unrooted otherwise because the rooting will void your warranty so to do that just follow the steps again but instead of clicking root just click on unroot this one right here let me enlarge it it's the third button okay click on that and uh, you'll be good to go alright alright guys after finishing the steps on the computer and uh, turned off your phone and turn it back on I want you to go to applications and then I want you to go to uh, and look for the program that's called super user if you see that then you've successfully uh, rooted your phone if you don't see it that means uh, you've done something wrong and uh, that's it for now I will be showing you guys how to unlock the phone with the unlock code and uh, I hope I'll be able to do it by the end of this week alright thank you guys and congratulations on rooting your phone